legal dictation number 3 and the dictation speed is 100 words per minute. Ready? Start. An advocate who is found guilty of contempt of court may also be guilty of professional misconduct in a given case but it is for the bar council of the state or bar council of india to punish that advocate by either debarring him from practice or suspending his license as may be warranted in the facts and circumstances of each case the learned solicitor general informed us that there have been cases where the bar council of india taking note of the contumacious and objectionable conduct of an advocate had initiated disciplinary proceedings against him and even punished him for professional misconduct on the basis of his having been found guilty of committing contempt of court. We do not entertain any doubt that the Bar Council of the State or Bar Council of India, as the case may be, when appraised of the established contumacious conduct of an advocate by the High Court or by this court would rise to the occasion and take appropriate action against such an advocate. Under Article 144 of the Constitution, all authorities, civil and judicial, in the territory of India shall act in aid of the Supreme Court, the Bar Council, which performs a public duty and is charged with the obligation to protect the dignity of the profession and maintain professional standards and etiquette is also obliged to act in aid of the Supreme Court. It must whenever facts warrant rise to the occasion and discharge its duties uninfluenced by the position of the contemner advocate. It must act in accordance with the prescribed procedure whenever its attention is drawn by this court to the contumacious and unbecoming conduct of an advocate which has the tendency to interfere with due administration of justice. It is possible for the high courts also to draw the attention of the bar council of the state to a case of professional misconduct of a contemner advocate to enable the state bar council to proceed in the manner prescribed by the act and the rules framed thereunder. There is no justification to assume that the bar councils would not rise to the occasion as they are equally responsible to uphold the dignity of the courts and the majesty of law and prevent any interference in the administration of justice. Learned counsel for the parties present before us do not dispute and rightly so that whenever a court of record records its findings about the conduct of an advocate while finding him guilty of committing contempt of court and desires or refers the matter to be considered by the bar council concerned appropriate action should be initiated by the bar council concerned in accordance with law with a view to maintain with dignity of the courts and to uphold the majesty of law and professional standards and etiquette. Nothing is more destructive of public confidence 
in the administration of justice than rudeness or disrespectful conduct on the part of a counsel towards the court or disregard by the court of the privileges of the bar.